I just completed the uh, DC drive for my uh, Harbor Freight Mini Mill. Uh, it's come made up of a 24 volt DC motor and that kind of sticks out through the uh, box here. Here's the end cap on it. It's a small aluminum enclosure that I happen to have laying around that I put all the electronics in. A small electronic speed controller and a reversing switch. Uh, and it's powered by a 24 volt computer type power supply plugged in on the bottom here. The uh, unit has a clutch mechanism underneath here that's made up of a hex head that's on the sliding D shaft of the uh, drive, the motor drive itself, and uh, there's a small cam pin that engages and disengages that hex head into a 12 point socket that's been uh, uh, annealed and turned and fit on the end of the lead screw. So it's just a matter of flipping this small little cam that I have on top here to engage it like that. Uh, it's just a little, uh, little bolt head on the bottom side with a pin sticking out that engages into the groove into this uh, sliding mechanism right in through here. So, um, and I want to show you the performance of it. It's uh, engaged right now. We'll, we'll put it in uh, slow mode. It's, uh, Show you the crank handle. There's full, full speed at 24 volts. And it seems like pretty good travel speed. It's adequate for milling anyway. Instant reversing if you want to go the other direction. And you can control the speed way down to quite slow. I'm sure with a load on it, it'll probably vary a little bit. It's not a feedback type control. Although this motor that I bought actually has a small encoder on the end for speed if you uh, wanted to use it for that. So that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, I also will show you the, um, the gauging DROs that I've added. Uh, Here's the, um, the Z-axis on the back side here. Here's the head arrangement for that. Uh, the sensing head and uh, the, the actual gauge itself. Um, on the back, in the back and bottom side, we have the, uh, the Y and the, the X. The X-axis is enclosed in this uh, protective plexiglass shield to prevent ships from getting on top of the uh, gauge on the actual slider bar here. Um, this one right here is fixed to the base of the carriage and travels with a, uh, it's fastened on to the uh, Y mechanism with a, actually a little plexiglass piece on there that allows it to flex just a little bit so I don't put a lot of strain on the gauge itself. Um, the, um, uh, the three DROs are, are arranged as uh, X, Y, and Z. So. Uh, Makes it fairly easy. I'm sorry, Z is at the top for this, for the head. Uh, X is for uh, this table here, and the bottom is Y out front. Sort of how the cranks are positioned as I reach for them. So, very nice setup. I really like them, and I only have a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars invested in the DROs, and uh, a little over fifty dollars invested in the DC motor drive. That's it. Thanks.